Field and welcome to Train World TV. And today we have Ryan Kunkel here. We want to thank you very much for com coming Great down here today. From Lionel, he's director of sales there. Production. Production, sorry. Yeah. Director of production. And uh, he's the guy that pretty much sets the line. Well, with, with my with my team and a great group of uh, folks back at the company uh, working together, yeah, we uh, we make it all happen. And these guys are deep into trains. And actually, I saw that you guys did a video, you and Dave, and it was like uh, the, 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 the Town Railroad song or something? Uh, you know, it was a great uh, marketing idea. Sometimes you just need to blow off a little bit of steam uh, at the end of a 60-hour work week, and we... Uh, we, we took it up one. I was originally just going to be for internal use only, oh, I was yeah. promised. And, uh, <laughs> now my, my great secret is out there. This this video went viral. This <laughs> is a rock star. Watch it. He's a rock star. It, yeah, he is. He is. It's definitely a rock star. It actually, I want to take guitar lessons now because I've seen you play that guitar in that video and it just blew me away. Well, you know, it was, it was great. It's amazing what you can do when, you know, the microphone's not actually yeah. on. So it works fine. <laughs> well, I just want you to know that Everybody appreciated that. We need a lot more of that out there to make put trains of fun. Trains, trains of fun. fun. If you can't have fun working for a company making model trains, you're doing something wrong. Well, so. I just want to say thank you for that video. And everybody's got to watch this big Dave and Ryan video. It's funny. It's amazing. And we have a, an award for you. Oh, we, oh good. We, we think it. That you deserve. Oh, this is good. It's you on, deserve on the guitar, guitar that you can travel with. <laughs> yeah, you know, this, we had some issues getting out of here last time. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. With the, with the TSA, something, something about a, you know a pound bag of ballast just doesn't. Yeah. Look good, you know, <laughs> but, Can't uh, go this, through that TSA with pretty, that. This is pretty good, and I will sound just as good playing this <laughs> as I did playing <laughs> the actual song. So. Well, thank you very much. Right. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Also, good job, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we got to do. This is the year. It's an anniversary for Lionel. It's a big deal. Uh -huh. 120 years. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he look great? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's 120 years of Lionel. It's iconic. It's a brand. It's a name. And it's going to be around another 120 years, without a doubt. Uh, the people running Lionel right now are amazing. They, they know exactly where they're going for the future. And they're on top of everything. And it's just, this is an amazing catalog. It really is. It's deep. A lot of items. Yeah, a lot deep. of items, a lot of new innovation, new tooling, new yep. features. All across the line, the company's really engaged and, and firing on all cylinders right now. Yep, yep. And we've got something for just about everybody in the hobby. Whatever your taste and budget and interest are, yep. we've got a train for you. Yep, and the quality is superb. And the uh, and now you're making this uh, built to order stuff, mm -hmm. and which is top of the line. And this year there's a lot of vision line stuff, which you only do every couple of years. Right. Typically we do a vision a release about every other year. Okay. So this is our big batch of releases for 2020, and then our next vision project will be in 2022. So it gives us time to develop the next big thing and, and the next product. We, we spread that development out over two years. So yep. the next one is already in the works. We've got a bunch of features that we're, we're working on trying to perfect so that we can get it into the next locomotive. And uh, 2022, we'll be talking about that. So okay. what's the vision line of this catalog? So what's the this big time, vision line? Engine? We did something completely different this time. We, instead of doing one vision line engine, we did a whole series of locomotives. Gotcha. The Southern Pacific's GS series, right. uh, starting with the GS1 through the GS6. Mm -hmm. And to do this, uh, and the reason we did so many of them, we had already previously done a GS2, a GS4, and a GS6. But the 1, 3, and 5 have really never been done in, in no scale because of mm -hmm. just the, their, the variations. So we went back to our existing tooling Modif made a lot of modifications so that we would have interchangeability of parts, more parts compatibility, and that allowed us to fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to start off with a vision product, with some vision products that had never been done before. So things like the GS1 and the GS3 that we have here today, mm -hmm. uh, brand new to the O-Gage world. But if you're going to do something as famous and popular as the SB's GS engines, to not do the GS4 again and 44, 49 and all those variations uh, would be kind of silly because it would okay. be the the best variation of that popular locomotive that you've ever possibly seen. Mm -hmm. So we said, why not? We've got the design, we've got the tooling. It's really just as practical for us to do all of them as it would be to do any of them. Right. Uh, so we made a whole host of, of, of locomotives, and if you're an SP guy, 
sorry about the second mortgage you're taking out on your house and your kid's college education, but uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a win. And if you've already got a GS4 but want something new with Vision, mm -hmm. you've got options. If you've never bought it, uh, an SP engine before and you've always wanted a daylight, now you've got options. So. Yeah. And the ultimate, the this ultimate. is the latest and greatest. That's right. for sure. Yes. You were explaining to me about the uh, piston area mm -hmm. where the smoke is going to come out of it and how that works. And I, I was like, wow, this yeah. ain't just smoke coming out. This, no, no, this is this is really cool. So we look here on the engine. Um, before our cylinder steam, there was just one port bound here at the bottom of the piston, and it just jetted out steam. Right. There's actually now a a piston inside here that moves back and forth with the rods and opens and closes the, the, the four ports, two on each side of the locomotive. So you will have smoke and sound effects in tune with the actual rotation of the drive wheels for unparalleled realism uh, in, in there. And then of course you also still have the stack smoke. You have either whistle or dynamo smoke depending on the locomotive uh, and the location of the whistle. You've got the stereo sound. You've got, so you have speaker in the locomotive and speakers in the tender which gives you just amazing sound quality. We've, we've got new legacy electronics coming out this year, new new boards, and the Vision engines will be the first that you'll see this in. So in addition to having the great quality of sound, you'll now have selectable whistles and horns. Uh, you'll have, so you can choose up to three different whistles or two different horns, they're already programmed into the engine. So if you want your engine to sound a little little deeper, a little, little higher, you can do that. The bell, you can quill the, the uh, or adjust the pitch of the sound of the bell for a higher or lower sounding bell pitch. Uh, right. And that's, that's a really cool feature. Uh, then we also have uh, bicolor class lights, so you can run it as an extra section or a green section following. Uh, another little detail, but for those who like to have prototype operations, it's a cool, cool add-on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a lot of great features. Also the uh, the kinematic draw bar for closer mm -hmm. coupling with the tender and the force coupler on here as well, so that as you're pulling a heavier train, you'll get the heavier labor sound and smoke effect out of the locomotive mm -hmm. automatically. You don't have to use the train brake slider on the legacy cab. It's all done for you by the engine. It knows how hard it's working. Mm -hmm. I noticed the uh, weight on these things. This mm -hmm. ain't no uh, chinsy engine. I mean, you no, can, you've got you've got heft. Uh, yeah, even even on the brass versions, you've got plenty of weight there to, to pull a good train, yep. mm -hmm. and it's. It should, should give you no trouble running around your layout. Yeah, yeah. great stuff, great <laughs> stuff. The um, uh, and they also got these uh, matching passenger cars. Matching to go passenger with these. cars yeah. and freight cars. Uh, yeah. Another great thing about the GS engine was it was both a passenger and freight locomotive. Mm -hmm. the GS was general service. So we've got our first Vision uh, freight set here. It's going to be a great. Great seller, looks very nice. Very uh, nice. You've got the the Vision GS4. This is a new version of the GS4 with the uh, side skirting removed. Mm -hmm. With the modular tooling, we were able to capture those details, which is a really cool thing. Uh, as they got later in years, they took some of those panels off to make it easier to service. Uh, then you also get a Vision stock car, Vision reefer, two sound box cars, and a, a cupola cam caboose. So, okay. from the pilot to the cupola, everything is packed with features in that train. Yeah. There's a lot of pages of this Vision stuff. Mm -hmm. Holy mackerel. Yeah, six yeah. different variations of the locomotive. If you count the two variations of the GS4, you're really at seven. Uh, and then amongst even those, there are detailed differences from engine to engine in many cases. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of tooling, I think 28 or 29 different uh, varieties of the GS engine in the, in the catalog okay. overall. And each one has its own unique mm -hmm. unique feature. So right. a cool, cool piece. And Train World is going to carry all these numbers and we're going to have a significant amount of these because this is going to be the winner this year for sure. But it's built to order. It's built so, to order. So you, you really should get your orders in by the end of February. Yeah. The beginning of March, that's when you really have to do it. The um, And we got special pre-order pricing on them. So just go to trainworld.com and you can pre-order there. The, um, uh, it just looks like a good year for you. I, I hope so. Vision years are always an exciting one for us. And uh, it's a great chance to sort of bring out the latest and greatest in the hobby and, and see what new we can do. Is there any specific passenger car that's uh, different or new? We've done a variety of passenger cars. So you've got here on, up on the, the catalog page, this is our uh, Vision Express uh, baggage car. This is a cool piece. You stop and you get uh, different loading and unloading sequences uh, and lots of fun dialogue. There are 21-inch passenger cars, 18-inch passenger cars, uh, Mm -hmm. So freight cars, uh, whatever kind of train you want to put behind your GS, we've got you covered okay. here. Yep. We yep. did the Golden State, we did the Lark, we've done Daylight cars of course, uh, mm -hmm. so lots of great options. And 
the GSs were used pretty interchangeably on, on a lot of those trains, so there's nothing wrong with having a daylight painted uh, GS4 pulling the Lark. In fact, actually, in the real world, that's right. what it was. Uh, but we did the, the fantasy scheme for the Lark, we did the fantasy scheme for the uh, for the Golden State, uh, as well as a couple other really fun ones. We've got the Freedom Train, we've got some new cars in there for the Freedom Train, for those who've been building that, uh, that contest up. All new tooling on those passenger cars mm -hmm. uh, and more. So and you're coming out with the uh, the three packs of the uh, reefers again. Mm -hmm. um, now it says vision on these. So what's yeah. special about these reefers? So the reefers, uh, these are very similar to the ones we've done in the, the last couple of releases. These always are a big seller for us, so we know it's people are always yep. liking to add more. Always a sellout. Uh, yep. Always these sell have out. three different uh, loading unloading sequences with them. So you have the loading of the, the fruits and vegetables, you have icing down of the car, and then you have the unloading sequence. Mm -hmm. uh, and so each time you stop, you, you can play a different uh, rotation. Right. And then you also have the clickety-clack freight sounds as the, yeah, as the yeah. car's in motion. So that one's a lot of fun. Uh, and then so you get one car with sounds and then two cars that are just add-on cars in the, in the three pack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and we did a New York Central and a Pensy one for the East Coast guys this time around. Mm -hmm. Stock cars are very similar. You get loading, unloading of the cattle, and then instead of an icing sequence, we're going to do a uh, car cleaning sequence on this one. Ah, okay. So, um, you know, maybe if you play your car right, you know, we haven't scripted that yet, Ken. We could, <laughs> we could have you come down. We'll, we'll, Dave and I will set the mood for you so you have the right tone okay. in your voice and you're scooping <laughs> out the cattle car. <laughs> I'm glad you thought of me. Well, yeah, you're, 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 in, the, you're in the upper left, you know. I shouldn't be the only one to have all the fame and fortune that comes out of our, our social media. And you also got the T1 coming out, too. The Reading T1 is coming yep. back. This is a, a great locomotive. Uh, these sold well the first time around and, and had good reviews when they were uh, when they were out there. So yep. you had a lot of people who I know you had a second round of sales on these. Wanted to bring them back again. Uh, all for the most part prototypical schemes. Even the Conrail was a proposed uh, excursion that never quite happened, but was done off of the artist drawings for that locomotive. Right. So a really right. fun piece. Yep. Uh, B6. Yeah. One of, in my opinion, probably the nicest small steam yep. locomotive. Yeah, that mine you made. too. I like it. It's these. just yep. loaded with detail. Um, these engines will have. Uh, these won't have the bicolor class lights because uh, the Pensy had dropped that practice by then, so you'll have marker lights front and back. Uh, these will, as will the T1s, have the uh, different whistle options. So you'll have five different whistles to select. Okay. Uh, since you don't have to toggle between whistle and horn, we can give you five whistles. Yep. Uh, these do have a tether. These don't have the wireless tether between tender and, and look mode, but that's to give you more pickup on the tender wheels so you have better coverage for slow speed operation. And these things do run really well at, at slow speeds. Yeah, I like that you have two different style tenders also. Yeah, we found a couple of photos. Uh, the Pensy did some tender swapping later in years, and uh, this is a variation that has not been done before, so it's a good one to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, optional tenders too. Optional like add-on tenders for your excursion consists. Uh, these water are all tank. done. Water, water tanks. Tank. Mm -hmm. yep. These, uh, you know, for long distance runs, you carry some extra water. These have some great sound effects in them too, mm -hmm. turning the train at the end of the night, readying it for the next run. Really good stuff. And then we get into some uh, new diesels, some E8 new road names. New road names on the E8s, E9s. Uh, the Frisco's have been very popular. A lot of interest in the Amtrak's too, the early Amtrak scheme, okay. uh, which, was, which is a fun one. The uh, the Pensy versions, those are going to be done up as the current uh, Juniata terminal locomotives with the ditch lights in the front, uh, HEP details on the roof, so a modern excursion locomotive that's, that's well known and, and well loved. Okay. FM's guys, are coming back? FM's coming back, and yeah, that's one of those, it's sort of a good one for the 120th year because mm -hmm. The FM's, the train master's one you do think of as a classic line of sure, sure. from, from yeah. years going by. So we have upgraded the tooling on this. There'll be multiple variations now between the dual headlight, single headlight version, as well as we've filled in the, the walkway gaps on some of these so that you have more prototypical okay. uh, appearance. That makes a big difference when you're doing the, some of those deco schemes. Okay, some more SD40s. More SD40s, lots of road specific details on these. You got the CSX 4617, that was a Real popular engine until they finally repainted it. It was the last CNO painted locomotive out there. Okay. ES44s, ES you know, every time we think we're done running ES44s, <laughs> yes. we get new paint schemes. Yep. Yep. Uh, we've been working really hard, really close with CSX over the last year to get these special locomotives right. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are officially licensed with the railroad, and they've worked with us for all the charitable organizations as well. So you'll have a complete deco scheme that's accurate. They've even sent us paint samples so that we can send the paint chips over to China and get the uh, the colors right on these. So I want to thank CSX for all their help. They're as enthusiastic working with us as we are with them, and it's been a really great project, and I think you're going to see 
the best rend renditions of these locomotives possible out there. And you uh, got the three world. three new paint jobs uh, for sure this mm -hmm. year that are popular and mm -hmm. all scales. You got the veterans. Yep, veterans, mm -hmm. first responders, first and responders. the police unit. Yeah, this why like, nobody's ever done anything like for the law enforcement. Right, it's right. a really cool locomotive. Yeah. And these, yeah. these uh, I don't think they lasted long on the on the prototype, but the blue and red ditch lights in the front. We're going to do that on the. the oh, very good. For that too. Yeah, so I didn't very, know that. Very cool very feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, these are also available powered and non-powered. So if you want to have them as a desk piece yeah. or build a larger con system, don't need all of your locomotives powered. You have that option there as well. Yeah, I've already had a lot of law enforcement guys come in and order them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a really, really good popular. looking locomotive yeah. and a really nice, yeah. nice thing that they've done. Okay. Some bigger sets you got going. Got a couple of great sets uh, in the catalog. These these feature our E8. We've got a, a beautiful Boston and Main set. Mm -hmm. Includes yep. the uh, E8 locomotive. Our milk cars that are back in production again with new tooling. 18-inch uh, passenger car and our new 18-inch passenger cars as well that were tooled up specially mm -hmm. this year. The preamble the same. Uh, E8 new passenger car tooling there. Okay. Uh, Pepsi okay. train master set includes a Vision stock car in that set mm -hmm. uh, for. Uh, fancy guys, and I'm sure this will be popular up in this neck of the woods here. The CNJ Red Baron uh, sets a, a good one straight. I didn't know it was uh, called the Red Baron. Mm -hmm. that, that's, yeah, uh, it was a unique. The only, it was the only SD40 to wear the uh, the red and white paint right, scheme. So. Right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. More We've got new passenger cars and uh, our, our new Reading tool cars. Mm -hmm. Our. Uh, Cool service cars for the Pensy. These are great on a West Coast train or an East Coast train, okay. depending on how you want to do it. And this Vista division dome cams. These have a camera up in the dome, so you get the view down the track as you yep. the best seat in the train yeah. on your railroad. Yeah, that was a great idea. Yeah. That was a real good idea. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Our new beer cars. This is all new tooling. Mm -hmm. We did bring a, a sample of the, the new car here. This is based off a of Pacific Car and Foundry design. So we made a new size insulated box car, uh, new side frame, an under frame. Um, really cool car, hasn't been done in O scale before. Very common car from the 1970s through today. So that should be a nice addition to people's yeah. modern. Showing on the bottom of that, a lot, of, the detail, lot detail of detail on the, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. So very cool car. Yep. And uh, making it also in graffiti. A couple of graffiti oh, yeah. versions, a couple of, of plain color versions, uh, mm -hmm. all based off the prototypical paint schemes. Okay. Friendship Train's a very cool uh, train from 1947, made a tour across the country. They kept adding cars to it along the way, mm -hmm. uh, exporting uh, charitable goods over to uh, war ravaged Europe. And uh, just a fun train. We'll be continuing to add cars to that series as we go go ahead. Okay. Um, before we start moving on away from the built to water stuff, mm -hmm. I just wanna show everybody, this is the hybrid of the promontory. The 150 years. I mean, nobody saw this yet because it was all kind of in plans and drawings and whatever. But this thing is spectacular. This this is probably the most detailed engine you'd ever these done. Are, these are these are very very beautiful locomotives. We've got the 119 here as well. Uh, these are our first deco samples. We're still making a few tweaks and changes to the uh, the deco on these. But you really have to see them up close and in person to appreciate uh, the. The sort of the delicate de looking yep. detail of them. They're they're much more robust in your hands than they than they look. But uh, these we've uh, been doing a lot of research on, uh, working with some yeah. of the leading historians uh, on 19th century steam to make sure we get these absolutely as accurate as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, actually, even looking better than the more accurate historically than the, the replicas are today. So, uh, and there's special passenger cars to go with. Special these. cars to go with them that, that will include yep. the sounds. Uh, since, mm -hmm. as you can see, space yep. is kind of at a premium on these. Yeah. The scale, for yeah. one scale, is actually smaller yeah. than uh, than the traditional size. Mm -hmm. So we had to make some compromises and features, but you do have legacy on board, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a it's a great running locomotive. I kind of call piece. them the father and the son, father, the father and son <laughs> general, generals. Yeah. All for the 150 mm -hmm. year of the promontory, the generals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but beautiful train. Very, 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 train. very beautiful yeah. locomotives. Very happy to have those. I, yeah. Quite honestly, this is one of those items you should have pre-ordered because there isn't going to be many floating around out there because uh, it was just like sold out and then I was buying from the distributors, grabbing all they could. Then they were able to inch the number a little bit and yeah. it was just, uh, th this is one of those things that you wish you pre-ordered. Mm -hmm. Sure. We've also got some samples here from the last catalog. We've got the uh, the oil burning version of the Big Boy. We've got a Santa Fe Northern here. We've got some of the new tooling for the George Bush uh, funeral train as well. The new oh, yeah. Union Pacific observation car. I know these were a big seller for the you. The last guys. catalog Lionel made. It's set's not out yet. But the George Bush train is spectacular and by far the best seller in the whole catalog next to this. This was also one of the best sellers too. So those will be in production very shortly. Uh, we can get things rolling again in, in China. 
and uh, they'll be over here uh, in the not too distant future. Okay. Um, and um, let's say lion masking. Lion masking. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is uh, so this uh, is just a. a it runs on a smaller radius track mm -hmm. for the guys that don't have the real big radiuses. Right, right. And, the, um, and this stuff here gives you as much detail. It's just beautiful stuff. Beautiful. You know, a nicely detailed engine, well proportioned. The locomotives are big. They still give you the sense and feel of a big engine, but they'll run on an 031 curve. So this is our, our scale big boy. Our Lion Master big boy is probably about this long. Okay. Uh, but because of the way it's articulated, you can get a, a much sharper curve. And the Allegheny will be in that same, same boat. And these have our new Lion Chief Plus 2.0 on board. So these will run off of uh, conventional control. They'll run off of the Bluetooth. Uh, you can use either universal remote or you can use the uh, the app on your phone. Okay. Uh, and you can also run them with a TMCC or Legacy Cab. Nice. So you have all the options available to you for control on these engines. And there's plenty of this um, uh, O-Gage Lion Chief 2.0. This is all going to be brand new this year where it's just... Uh, uh, and they don't come with remote stuff. We're not including the individual remote, uh, right. but you have so many other options out there. Exactly. For most people, this isn't your first rodeo if you're buying yes. one of these engines. Uh, so you can use the other remotes that you have, yep. uh, or use your use your phone. Or oh, the universal remote, universal. which operates multiple engines. Yes. And uh, that's that's a that's a fantastic bargain, quite right honestly. It really is. It really is a great. Yeah. No, sense, no sense duplicating all these remotes and remotes and remotes mm -hmm. when you got so many other ways to operate these right. engines. Right. Yeah. The um, I guess getting into license stuff, Lionel has been pushing the envelope on getting licenses uh, for model railroad trains for kids of all ages. And uh, you basically, uh, Thomas the Tank and uh, Polar Express are huge home runs for you guys and we sell it every day, yes. every day. And uh, you're adding to the Thomas the Tank. We've and, got some of the uh, new character box cars. They, yep. uh, he's celebrating his 75th birthday this year coming up. So, oh really? Right. Uh, so we've got a 75th anniversary box car in there for him. We'll have some, uh, some fun music and things yep. on board that. Yep. But, uh, but this Toy is the knockout. This, this is the knockout great. out of the catalog. Mm -hmm. Toy Story. Mm -hmm. Everybody for years have been asking for Toy Story stuff by Lionel, and mm -hmm. finally you're able to get this license. We have a license with Pixar now, so we yep. can do Toy Story. You'll see a bunch of other uh, cars and uh, mm -hmm. you know Inside Out and things like that. Yep. Yep. Uh, cars through here, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a license that we can continue going with for for quite a while. This this opened up Pandora's box in the office yep. of ideas flooding in on on what we can do with some of these, these properties. I remember so. taking my son Kenny to, to see the first original movie mm -hmm. of Toy Story, which I enjoyed. Uh, yeah. And that also this uh, the, the style engine here is like the one that's at Disney World anyway. Right, right. Running around in the movie, you've got uh, you know, the guy in the cab driving it and everything. It's, 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 it really fits. Yeah, and Buzz Lightning. You know, Buzz who can forget that? Yeah. I mean, there's no end to what you can do with Toy right. Story now. We're on and also, you got now uh, Finding Nemo. You got to do a Finding yeah. Nemo aquarium yeah. car, right? Yeah. I mean, that was a that was a pretty pretty easy uh, wow. easy one to come up with. Yeah. And the Pixar uh, cars uh, as an engine. Mm -hmm. uh, this is doing very well. I, uh, that that surprised me on the back orders. And then uh, you got Frozen. Frozen, yeah. Frozen Two. What's cool about this? It doesn't really show up well in the catalog because okay. it's a printed catalog. But the uh, the wood load in the tender is going to be cast in a, in a bluish clear uh, load to look like ice, and okay. we're going to put flickering LEDs underneath. Oh, so you actually have this cool shimmering ice effect on the on the tender of okay. that engine. Which is yep. Really neat. Yep, very nice, very nice. And then uh, Area 51. Yep. That's been a hugely yep. popular <laughs> series for us. So the couple cool things to talk about on this set. Um, the first being the lighted track. Mm -hmm. uh, this will have a green, green Oh, I didn't track. know that. I just, this, yeah, yeah, this just has the lighted it. track. Yeah, yeah. It's a new okay. thing we're doing this year. And as the train rolls along, uh, it, it connects the rails and you get the lights under the track. Yeah, so yeah. The lights will follow the train. You'll get this cool green alien glow underneath the, the train as it rolls along. Uh, some great add-on accessories here too, including the uh, UFO uh, Area 51 souvenir stand, which was probably quite busy this year out there with uh, Storm Area <laughs> 51. Now you made a UFO set or Area 51 set a few years mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. but this blows it away. This is like really the, cool. The graphics really are cool. cool. The yeah. you know the design of the, the locomotive, everything is, is really really cool on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've, we've had a lot of a lot of success with that. Yep. Halloween's been a yep. growing uh, area for us too. This is one of our smoking reefers in the scale line with yep. the smoke effect inside the car to give you that cool air effect. You'll yeah. have sound and, and light in there as well, uh, too. I must have missed a page up forward, though, yet. That's so. all right. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah. We can't hit everything with one of them. Okay. And then Star Trek. Another yeah. great new yeah. license. Yeah. We've had a lot of Trekkies calling us saying, this is great. Now can you make a dilithium crystal car? Yeah. Can you make this? Can you make it? And yes, this is another one of those licenses that will definitely continue to grow. Yeah. 
More Batman, well, Batman stuff. Some great new, uh, great new cars. The shark repellent car, the Batman Joker dueling, uh, mm -hmm. dueling car. Really, a lot of fun stuff in this series, and we're having having a lot of fun. With it. Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, different different cartoons, different yeah. uh, different properties there. Yeah. And for the beer lovers, more Budweiser, Coors, mm -hmm. uh, Miller, mm -hmm. uh, even our own Lionel Ale. Uh, <laughs> which some you know, we did actually brew our own uh, own batch of beer last year, so we did a car to commemorate that. Yeah. And uh, get into some of uh, the uh, uh, John Deere, Wings of the Angels, Angels did very well. Yeah. 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 John Deere is always popular. Yeah. And uh, some of our Heritage Series cars. Yeah. We're doing a couple of these each catalog, celebrating important railroad history events. And then we got the uh, our continuing uh, Battlefield Series, uh, World War II. We're, we're moving into some of the uh, the later years. We've got the Berlin Wall, the Berlin Airlift mm -hmm. uh, in here. Some some really cool art on those those pieces. Uh, and Polar Express, you're always doing add-ons to that. Always add-ons to that. Anything that we can, we can, any new we can do in Polar, we always make that a priority. It's like a whole catalog now of Polar Express stuff. Mm -hmm. There's many pages in here. And some great Christmas items. Our scale show. Christmas items. Yeah, we've got uh, this is the Sled X cars. That came out of uh, an HO project that one of our artists mm -hmm. did uh, last year. And we really liked it a lot, so we said, you know, that's, that's creative. We're going to put that in, yep. in the O-Gage market. Mm -hmm. A really great uh, scale uh, Christmas this set. Very the B6, nice. Very nice. Milk car, yep. a hopper, stock car caboose. Yeah. Really like beautiful set. Mm -hmm. And those, of course, will have special sounds on board them, too. So you have to have and then this set is going to have some light this is track. Right. This is more of our lighted track. We've yep. got some of that here on the uh, on the table. As yep. you roll the train, it, you're going to connect the dots, and you get the... Uh, Get the trail effect. Yep, yep. So as you get that running around your Christmas tree, we've got some videos online. I think you can, you've shared that as well. Yep. And uh, when you see that in motion and in action, it, it really will brighten up the room. And yeah. It's a fun, fun piece. Now this lighted track you can buy separately. You can add it to your existing uh, fast track, and you, you don't have to buy make the whole layout all lighted track. Right. You can just add a few pieces to your existing track and and take it from there. Yep, it snaps right in with existing fast, fast track. So no special wiring required. You don't have to hook anything else up. You just Put yep. the tracks together and go. Now this is like your uh, uh, an upscale. Uh, this is the, our Christmas set. light express. Mm -hmm. So this one we have the lights on the train. Yeah. We have one car where the lights will will flicker and shimmer, and then another car uh, also has sound on board. Oh, wow. And so the lights will actually dance in in conjunction okay. with the with the music. Yep. Uh, so okay. a, a very cool set. Yeah. All the starter sets do have sound, but uh, this is going to be music sound. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what that's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, you got Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase, of course, the first car. Try and find it. Everybody bought that car. And That's this one's going to be even better because you can't do the Griswold house and not like that. <laughs> so we're putting uh, a series of LEDs behind that, too, so you get a nice, cool, glowing uh, very good. Uh, yeah. Christmas house. Yeah, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. And then also Christmas, Christmas Story, Story, another addition to yeah. that. And Angela Trotta Thomas, she does, does such great art. Yeah, she, she really captures sort of the spirit. She is an right artist, now. without a doubt. Without a doubt. And, this uh, beautiful stuff mm -hmm. she paints. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. And all that could be added to any of the Christmas any stuff. Any of the Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. and more Christmas, more items. Christmas items. This year's Christmas box car, mm -hmm. which is by far the number one selling thing every year. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And our, our Christmas music box car as well. We, yep. we, have that out there. Yeah, and I noticed that the uh, price of the diesel engine is uh, very reasonable. Yes. So you did a great job on that, keeping the price uh, uh, down for the Christmas crowd. Somebody just wants to run something around the tree quick. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this is going to do yeah, very well. This is one well. of our, our Lion Chief locomotives. Uh, we've done that. There's some steam and diesel offerings in the last couple of catalogs. It gives you an option for an engine that's not not too expensive if you if you like the quality and the features that you get in your train set and you just want to add another locomotive this is a great way to to get there okay and then uh, among other uh, christmas items and then we got our fake news newsstand <laughs> all right this is the orders are coming in like crazy on this thing we yeah. kind of figured that they would um it's an election year whether you put this well for whatever reason that you want to put this on their on your layout go for it mm -hmm. uh it's it's a neat accessory and it was one of those that as soon as the idea popped in our head he said yeah that, that was a great idea should do it. Great the bandstand stand in there's awesome too last time we did that it had a cassette player in it uh, and now that has a bluetooth speaker so you can stream in whatever music you like mm -hmm. through the, the bandstand on your way and i noticed on a lot of the uh, bigger standard oak cars that there's been a price reduction on that which is great so now you you don't have to say okay the big cars cost more money big cars are now at the right same price as the regular size car yeah they have one here this is the car you can do it yeah no good stuff well ryan 
It, thank you for going through the catalog with oh, us. My pleasure. And uh, thank you for coming down here mm -hmm. to Train World. And all these items you can buy and pre order at trainworld.com on the built to order items. Make sure you get your orders in by the beginning of March. I mean, we'll always have others after, but if you want to get the opening price, that's pretty much where you got to be. Yep. And uh, don't forget our American Flyer catalog is yes. uh, digital, it's online. Uh, so you're taking pre orders on, on those items as well. And then uh, we'll have uh, we have HO stuff out there for the HO crowd. Uh, there will be yep. a uh, a new announcement with some more products coming in March. Uh, you'll see some more digital announcements throughout the year on that. So yep. uh, we're running in full speed at the at the company right now. But uh, just as we're wrapping up orders on this catalog, mm -hmm. you'll see some great HO stuff coming out and more throughout the year. So yeah. you started the HO with the Polar Express HO, mm -hmm. which was phenomenal. We sold so many of these things for the last two Christmases, and now you got the full line of buildings coming out. Mm -hmm. So everything is. Uh, you're going to do very well with the HO. A lot of guys are buying this stuff. I hope so. Yep. Well, thank you for having me. Yep. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right.